lot of guys and dolls out there in YouTube land. You made a little keto goofball diamond. Today is 811 of my ketogenic journey, going from a 311.8 pound short round ball, hopefully to a keto cutie. Thus far, I've lost 135 pounds. Which way did the scale sway today? Well, I'll let you know about that in just a minute and uh, with a chit chat and a weigh in. I will be showing you what I ate yesterday that was perfectly keto friendly or supposedly so. And I will be right back with a rant. Mm hmm. But first, let's show you what I ate. Anyway, if you need my help, I help everybody with keto for free. KetoDiamond.com is a place you can go to get a free foods list, beginner's guide. All written out plain and simple everything I know about keto tips tricks all that stuff is there and my email address is below to contact me and on the front of this channel is a how-to for beginners playlist everything I know about keto for free for you to help everybody as much as I can because it feels good so guys and dolls don't forget to thumbs up my videos and share them away and ring that bell and what else is there oh if you're new to me subscribe I'm gonna share my journey with you every day on day it's my challenge to myself. All right, you guys, so here's that chit chat and weigh in. What I ate, let's roll. First time I've ever in person laid eyes on Rebel ice cream. So I'm going to get some vanilla and some chocolate and we're going to see what happens. It's never a good idea for me, is it? But I've never seen them before, so I've got to try them. What else I found? These Munchie on the Go uh, kosher dill chips. Less than one car per serving, three servings per bag. Oop. And I got three bags of them. Okay. This is the base of what I'm making. This is one can of chicken, uh, like canned chicken breast with a little bit of chopped up celery in it. As this is off the stove and drained, I was heavy handed with the pepper and a little bit of salt. This chicken is 98% fat free, but I can solve that problem. Hold on, I'll film the puppy in a minute. <laughs> I'm trying to make me some lunch here, these people. So I mixed it up with some shredded cheese. I don't know how much of this I'm going to eat, but I know how much of it I'm going to try to eat. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're having a bacon double cheeseburger, some broccoli, and a few uh, pickles. <laughs> he is too. <laughs> hey you guys, so uh, I accidentally deleted a clip of me and Destiny going to breakfast yesterday morning. I had bacon, egg, and cheese scrambled in a little bully thing from Sonic because my son works at Sonic and he knows how to make mama's food keto friendly and I had half a serving of vanilla and chocolate vanilla and chocolate rebel ice cream which I'll be doing a review on in just a little bit yay me <laughs> let me talk to you for a minute I had a rant yesterday about keto products and in fact I've been saying for a while that the best keto and I know this for a fact is whole foods keto which means meat cheese eggs green leafy vegetables you don't need anything pills potions shakes powders uh any of that crap you don't need any of it sometimes it's nice to have a little something extra but you don't need it well knowing all that i still fall victim to it myself and therefore cannot fault anybody else for doing it in fact some of you are probably sitting there going oh god what did you do now uh, of course you watch the you know the last few clips so you probably know what it did ah, for the first time ever I finally saw rebel ice cream in a in a local store I've been wanting to try this stuff for a while because everybody talks so highly of it I can kick all y'all right square in your rear ends <laughs> all right now let, let me take that back I'm actually not blaming anybody because everybody's different and if you try any keto product on your journey you at your own risk you really are because there's no telling how your body will react to anything especially when it comes to sweeteners and and different additives to try to make it taste like the real thing even though it's not what you're used to as the real thing so there's any number of ingredients in there 
Uh, otherwise, I had a perfectly wonderful keto day. I did great yesterday. All but that damn Rebel ice cream. Oh my God. Now, I was a little concerned because, you know, yesterday I was bitching about potentially it could be urethritol messing with me, causing that migraine. And, uh, you know, I, I took that back relatively quickly because I have used quite a few products with urethritol in them that do not seem to affect me. Perhaps stevia affects me. It does affect some. You're really not safe with anything. Whole Foods Keto, okay? Just go Whole Foods Keto. <laughs> I don't know. I just wanted to try it. I mean, I, in so many ways, I want to be like everybody else on keto, but I'm not. Or at least, I don't guess I am. Maybe other people are affected by it just the same and they don't know. I don't know. I mean, this was unmistakable. So I did not get a migraine. I would have taken a migraine gr gladly over what I did get. Um, and again, I, I'm posting a, a, a review video on the Rebel, Rebel ice cream. So... You know, if you watch this, you don't have to watch that. But I would appreciate you watching and thumbsing up and, and all that good stuff. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. So, I didn't feel bloated. I started to cramp, like in my stomach. And it got pretty severe. Uh, uh, but before I even started to cramp, I got really sleepy. And I actually fell asleep at my desk. And I that... that it's like that carb sleep where you know you've spiked your insulin level and you just want to curl up someplace warm and take a nap. So it was like that. But over time last night, it became increasingly more severely painful. I, I literally felt like something was in there ripping my guts to shreds and ribbons. It hurt bad. And, I mean, I was sure it was just gas or ingestion or something, but it was in my entire torso. My stomach, my sides, my back. I couldn't get comfortable. I, I couldn't rest. I was really, really in pain. And I didn't know what to do about it. it uh, but I think it was about 3 o'clock this morning. My husband was like, do you want to go to the hospital? And I'm thinking, I'm pretty sure it's just gas. And I would really hate to go to the ER in the middle of the night complaining about gas pains. But it was all throughout my stomach, and it hurt. I can't even express how bad it hurts. It don't hurt today. I'm fine now. Because in the middle of the night, you know, I started, uh, it was about 4 o'clock this morning, I finally just started digging through the medicine cabinet to find anything. And I did find some old-ass Pepto-Bismo pills that had been in there for a long time. And within 20 minutes, the pain ceased. Um, I've been waiting to expel a bunch of gas, though, because clearly, surely it had to have been gas, right? I mean, I really don't know. But I never did expel a whole bunch of gas. There hasn't been burping and all that. I tried the Enlightened ice cream and, and a lot of these other ice creams. They do give me like a bad gas. Like like comical farting and burping. But they don't cause me pain like that. That was severe. I, I mean, I was legit thinking, I you know, if, if, I, if I thought for a second it wasn't just gas, I would have went on to the hospital because it was bad. I would have asked them to knock my ass the hell out. There was times last night I thought about just running head first into the wall and seeing if I could knock me out. <laughs> Not really, because that would hurt and I'd be bruised today. But, oof, man, did you have that experience with any of these products? I honestly have to say I am 100% wanting to do Whole Foods Keto. I, I can't take the products anymore. I mean, there's some products I don't mind utilizing now that I've tried them and I know that they're okay. Like the high key cookies, they're, they they treated me fine. I lost weight on them. It was all good and gravy. Um, but a lot of these products, I'm just I'm done trying. I can't do it anymore. My stunt that scared me last night. It hurt to the point I, <laughs> I was just kind of hoping the world would end. Yeah, I know, crazy, right? And the weigh in. Let's go ahead and weigh in, bastards. So yesterday I weighed in at 180.6. Was going down, doing pretty good. Today 182 on the dot again. Oh, by the way, I was also kicked out of ketosis. Yes, I checked. I was pissed. <laughs> These are products that people talk about highly here on YouTube that should have been fine. And maybe even for some people they are fine. I don't know. It's just aggravating me that every time I try one of these, yay, it's so great. It's, it's like, shit, that almost killed me. <laughs> Is it just me? Is it just me? All right, guys, so I'm going to run check the post office.
if there's anything in here I'll pop it in here in just a second I'm gonna get gas first because you know I'm at the gas station yeah I do this a lot and then I'm gonna go meet my husband for lunch because he asked me to come to lunch with him today and uh, of course you'll be seeing what we eat tomorrow here we go y'all if there's more I'll tell you there's more you guys so I ended up doing everything a little bit backwards I've already been to lunch with hubs I've already um went to Wally World did a little shopping got hubby a chair that's more comfortable than the one in the living room was like five bucks at Goodwill. So, God to see me trying to get the damn thing in here. Hey, that is an off scale victory. That hit every bone in my body that I had trying to put it in here. Ouch. <laughs> and I just checked my post office box and my performance nut better from Miss Angie came in. I'm so glad. Oh, I miss this stuff so much when I'm out of it. It's like my favorite everything, really. Um, but I mean, I, I didn't know it, but I loved it. Turned out I love macadamia nuts. And before I tried this, I had never had one in my entire life. Never. And still, I have a hard time finding the damn things where they're not crazy expensive. Found one pack of them at Food Line yesterday now. And I was like, yay! And then I looked at the price and was like, oh, hell no! Again, another company just done broke their damn brain. Uh, it was a little package like this. I mean, it's like a little plastic package like that. $9.99. I don't even think so. But I'm sure most of you, if you, unless you're new to me, have seen these. But this is a 10-pack of Performance Nut Butter, and I had to wear them. If these were frozen, I would eat one now. But they are not, and I don't feel like slurping it out of the pack. When they come, they come in kind of a... They're, they're kind of like a fat bomb consistency, if you've ever made a fat bomb. So right now, they're in a liquidy pack. But if you put them in the freezer and freeze them, you can get a nice cookie consistency, and you can eat them like a little bit of a cookie. But you can't take time with them because they are made of primarily fats, so they will melt relatively quickly. Let's see. For those of you who don't know, pack is 189 calories, 17 grams of fat, 3 grams of protein, 6 grams of total carb, 3 of those are dietary fiber, 2 are sugars, but none are added sugar. So it's not like cane sugar. It's just what's naturally in macadamia, coconut, and cashews, and sea salt, pink sea salt. So anyway guys, and I was I guess I'm gonna head on home. I'm gonna go ahead and close up this vlog. Remember if you need my help, please don't hesitate to contact me. Um my email address is below. If you'd like to support the channel, there are ways to do that below, including including a Patreon, a PayPal, and a um Amazon wish list. You could even order me up some performance nut butter if you feel froggy. I won't argue with you. I love that stuff. Um but again, contact me if you need me. I will see y'all tomorrow. I am tired and wore out now. Much love to you. Bye.